Hey guys, Kevin here with Texas Veteran Lawn Service. It is Saturday and we are in the second day of landfall uh, for uh, Hurricane Harvey. Now, we, we live in the spring area, so um, uh, I was one of my neighbors that uh, drove by. Anyways, we live in the spring area, so uh, Harvey hit in Corpus Christi. That's where the eye of the hurricane hit. And then uh, it kind of was, it's moving slow, so it's kind of moving up along the coastline. So we're still scheduled to have more rain for like another week. Uh, luckily, you know, financially we're all taken care of, you know, and uh, it's okay if we miss a week or two, you know, no lawn server. That's, I mean, that's fine. But, um, but, you know, I still would like to have worked because that's just bonus money. So, you know, we went out, we got uh, fuel in uh, our service truck here, filled that one up. Uh, our other truck is with the Hemi there, <laughs> brand new 2017. It's got half a tank. And then our other, my wife's car has got half a tank. And of course, we got the lawn equipment inside the house. We got some water over there, water inside, and so on. Um, so we picked up a few things. <coughs> Excuse me picked up a few things from the store and uh, there was there was a lot of people at a lot of stores but there wasn't a lot of chaos so um, I don't know of any stores where people getting trampled on or hurt or anything like that so I think for the most part everybody was real patient and there was a lot of product available for everybody and um, the following day you know gas trucks came in and started uh, filling up the, the gas stations and the grocery stores were still open for people to come and get food. So that was really great that they just didn't shut down everything. Now, there was a couple tornadoes that touched down. One that touched down in Magnolia and one that touched down in Cyprus. So they're both about 45 minutes from where I live. But anyway, so uh, we didn't go crazy on buying supplies for the tornado. But we picked up a couple things. And one of the things that I already had... Uh, was a generator which I had uh, in storage that I bought last year uh, brand new I bought it on uh, Amazon and uh, anyway so I wanted to share that with you and uh, so for us when we got our things uh, we didn't go overboard we didn't get things to store in the refrigerator we got things that were non-perishable items that you could keep in the pantry and also if we needed to if it was flooding here, you know, we could load stuff up in the truck and head up north, which is further away from where all the, the hurricane stuff is. And we don't want to take anything with ice chest and, and have ice and all that stuff. That's, it's already going to go bad. That's one, that's too much stuff to think about. So there's plenty of food that is non-perishable that you can take. And so that's what we did. We got things that were non-perishable, you know, crackers, ramen noodles. You can eat ramen noodles, however, without cooking them. Uh, you just break them up, you put the uh, seasoning in there, and it's actually not that bad. But uh, there's a lot of things. Uh, Vienna sausage, there's um, canned soups, there's bread, there's uh, I mean, all kinds of stuff. Granola bars, chips, um, I mean all kinds of stuff. So um, you could buy summer sausage, uh, which, does, which doesn't need to be refrigerated. Um, so... Anyways, all kinds of things. So uh, we got that. We got uh, batteries. We got different kinds of flashlights. Um, so anyways, but uh, so here at the house, uh, we got a retention pond behind the house uh, for the flooding water that comes in the subdivision. And here's some of the clouds right here that we can that you can probably see. Uh, looks pretty bad. You know, it would suck if a tornado came over that house right there. I would totally, probably, crap my pants definitely would have to would have to make a, a change on that but uh, anyways okay so the generator I have here is an LP generator um, I like it's a little safer than gasoline um, it's a little easier to deal with uh, a lot less mess because you know gas can uh, uh, can leak from fuel cans and it's just a pain and uh, anyway so this is a 4000 surge watt uh, 3250 running watt a generator by Sportsman. Now, it's not a huge generator, you know, but I'm not looking to power the entire house because 
if we have, to, and we still have a, another week of this stuff, so if we flood out and, you know, we have to head north, I can take this with us because it's not heavy. And that's the key, too. You want supplies that you can take with you, and a generator is one of them. So, and so a generator is one of the things you can take with you um, because this one is not real heavy. Some, you know, like the 10,000, 15,000 watt generators, you need two or three people to lift that thing. And if it's an emergency and you got to high tail it, you know, you can't take it with you. So with this small thing, plus it'll fit in a trash bag. So I can cover it with a double or triple or four layer heavy yard, uh, 42 gallon trash bag, throw it in the bed of the truck, and it's it's good to go whenever we get where we're at. It's, I'm not have to worry about it being in water. We unload it, get to the other house or whatever. But anyway, so it runs off a of, uh, liquid propane. And uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of outlets. It's got a DC outlet and then a couple AC outlets that are 120. Okay. It's got a grounding terminal. It's got a DC reset and AC reset. And that's really about it. Uh, here we have uh, the model number. It's a Gen 4000 LP. Uh, we have 3250 running watts and 4000 uh, peak watts. Uh, of course, it's 120 volt frequency, 60 hertz single phase. So it's not huge. Power factor of 1, and then uh, DC volts 12, and then DC amps 8.3. Okay. So, now this thing will power the refrigerator, but again, you know, when you're powering appliances, you're really drawing the power down on the generator. It has to work harder with the fuel, and fuel consumption goes down. So we really look for, to power things like the fan, because the AC goes out, it might get hot, you know. Um, if it's pouring rain, you can't really open the windows. And if you do open the windows, it's going to get humid in the house. So having a big area fan like that, that's the fan I keep in my shop. Uh, moves a lot of air. I picked that up at uh, Lowe's. Uh, I'll have a link in the description for that. Um, I have a link for this generator in the description too. So I'm going to show you how this guy operates. It's real easy. Ugh, not too, Not too hard here. Hopefully. Alright. So you have Alright, so you have your propane here. Now you have your regulator, so need to make sure there's no damage to that guy right here. So you're going to go ahead and hook that up. Now since it's regulated, you know, you could open this valve all the way. It doesn't really matter, you know. Uh, like barbecue grills, you don't really open them all the way, but you can if you want to. Uh, you have a switch here. Okay, you have an on-off. Turn it on. Okay. And then you have a choke here. So you also have closed and open. Okay, air filters there. And that's just part of the engine. I mean, it's brand new. I've, this is actually the first time I'm going to be using it. So uh, let's go ahead and get it started. So as you can see, two cranks started right up. So we're going to go ahead and plug the fan in. There you go. Fan's going. Is 
brand new that uh, it's got that brand new smell you know when when everything is burning and like a brand new car when you when you open the hood after you drive it home it has that just a different kind of metal and rubber and plastic smell that's you know um, I mean nothing nothing's on fire that's just the smell it has all right so um, so since we're done we're not going to be using it right now we're going to go ahead and turn that off and then unscrew that up leave everything right here that we need but I just wanted to share that with you and uh, anyway so if you're out and you guys have you know bad weather coming you, know, you have a hurricane you have a tornado whatever the case may be and you're out trying to get supplies think of what supplies you can get that will, that you can still be mobile quickly and doesn't involve a whole lot of stuff so like some people they they'll fill up their entire refrigerator with food hardly any perishable non-perishable items and and then a generator and then they gotta leave well then they gotta get coolers with ice and well good luck getting that so you know you need to think of things like that uh, we got flashlights we got you know a little first aid kit in there and you know things like that so anyways um, don't forget to like comment and subscribe I'm trying to build my YouTube channel uh, you know I know not all the comments or not all the content I have is super awesome but I'm getting there the editing I know is not great but I'm getting there so I really appreciate all the support I've got from all you guys uh, since I've had this channel and um, I really appreciate that so any thoughts or ideas uh, for other videos just let me know uh, other than that I'm Kevin with Texas Veteran Lawn Service stay safe and we'll see you on the next one